Today, I made each team's tallest player a 99 overall. Throughout the NBA, there are some absolute giants, all the way from Zach Eddy to Victor Wimbanyama to Bobo Bo, and many more. These giants will now be elevated to a 99 overall in hopes of changing the NBA for the foreseeable future. We are rebuilding the Grizzlies here, mainly because Zach Eddy is the tallest player in the NBA according to to Gay My League. So here we are with the 7 foot 5 99 overall. I'll quickly go through all the new 99 overalls for each and every NBA team. Most of them are centers except for like two of the teams. So for the Houston Rockets, Al Perrine and Jabari Smith Jr. were the same height. So I just made Jabari Smith Jr. 99 overall. Chet does win. MVP average 34, 15, 9, 2, and 2 as OKC is 99 overall. He also won rookie of the year. All right. Anthony Davis is now the sixth man of the year. How that man's coming off the bench is beyond me. Claxton just won defensive player of the year. <laughs> Look at those stats. 30 points, 15 rebounds, 8 assists, over 2 steals, and over 2 blocks. Eamon Thompson was the most improved player. Claxton won clutch player of the year as well. My gosh, this man took a leap. And then the Dallas Mavericks are the best team in the NBA. As far as the All-NBA first, then we have Chet, Evan Mobley, Victor, Vucevic, and Embiid. The NBA's All-NBA second team, we have Kel Ware, Alex Lynn, Derek Lively, Nicholas Claxton, and Trace Jackson Davis for the third team. We have, I'm not even going to pronounce his name, and then we have Mo Bamba, Mitchell Robinson, Jalen Dern, and Walker Kessler. As far as the all-defensive first team, we have Claxton, Vucevic, Wimby, Mobley, and Trace Jackson Davis. For the second team, we have Mitchell Robinson, Walker Kessler, Alex Lynn, this guy again, and Kel Ware. So, as far as the playoff picture, we now have Dallas versus the Nuggets. Then we have Golden State versus the Clippers, Minnesota versus OKC, and then the Kings versus the Grizzlies. So, nothing too different in the Western Conference. For the Eastern Conference, we have the Knicks versus the Raptors, Hawks and Pacers, Heat and Boston, and Bulls and Cavs. Once again, nothing too different for that conference. Now, for every team's new 99 player, we're just going to start with the 76ers. They probably had the worst end of the stick because Embiid's their 99 player, and he's already their best player. For the Bucks, they now have a 99 Brook Lopez. The Bulls have Vucevic. The Cavs have Evan Mobley. The Celtics with Chris Stapps. Mo Bamba on the Clippers. Zach Eady for the Grizzlies. Cody Zeller on the Hawks. Kel Ware for the Heat. Mark Williams on the Hornets, Walker Kessler for the Jazz, the Kings now have Alex Lynn, Mitchell Robinson for the Knicks, him and Cat were the same height, so I just made Mitchell Robinson the 99 overall because Cat's already like an 89 overall. Jackson Hayes on the Lakers, let's look at move 80 to the 3, or the 4, sorry, and LeBron to the 3, so the 80 is starting. The Magic now have Gaga Bitstow as their 99 overall, Derek Lively for the Mavericks, Claxton on the Nets who literally just had such an insane year deandre jordan for the nuggets him and Jokic are the same height but Jokic is already a 98 so i decided to give it to deandre jordan james wiseman on the pacers is it yives missy on the pelicans i have no idea jalen duran for the pistons yaka Pertle for the rap raptors rockets like i said i give it to Jabari smith jr Wemby obviously for the spurs the suns now have a 99 bowl bowl okc with chet rudy gobert for all you haters is now a 99 overall the portland Trailblazers now have a 99 Klingon. did they play him they didn't even play him this year, Trey Jackson Davis for the Warriors, and then for the Wizards, a power forward and Alexander Sar. Season sets on the year for our players. John Murray had 23 points, 6 rebounds, 8 assists, is still almost a block. Zach Eady had 23, 15, 9, 2, and 2. Desmond Bain had 16 and 4 assists. Gigi Jackson had 12 points, and Jaron Jackson had 13 points. Only 4 rebounds, a little over a steal, and a little over a block. Off the bench, Marcus Smart had 8 points, 4 assists. Vince Williams had 6 Brandon Clark had six, and then Santi Aldama also had six points. So we're pretty much going to get rid of the entire bench and most of our starters, in all honesty, as we do upset the Kings in the first round to advance to the conference semifinals. And we have somehow made it all the way to the conference finals through upsets, and then we get waxed by the Dallas Mavericks. And we have a Mavericks Celtics finals, and the Celtics come out on top. Chris Epps does win finals MVP, average 24 points, 12 rebounds, 11 assists, 2 steals, and 2 blocks. I am going to make this trade for Shannon Sharp and Robert Williams. We lose Desmond Bain and Marcus Smart, but Desmond Bain had a pretty down year last season, and Marcus Smart is, what, 31 years of age. We get a great young big man in Robert Williams who can rebound and be a great defensive player. And then we get a great young two guard in Shannon Sharp. Him and John Rant in the backcourt is about to go crazy. We also clear up cap space. And we can almost afford to sign a 99 overall player. I also did just trade for Isaiah Stewart to give us some more bench depth. Now we need to clear up about 9 mil in cap space. If I want to do this, we just need to get rid of, let's see, we can get rid of, we're probably going to have to get rid of Isaiah Stewart or Brandon Clark. Uh, Isaiah Stewart averaged 7 points, 5 rebounds last season. Brandon Clark had 6 points, 5 rebounds, a steal, and a block. I think we're just going to have to get rid of the main I literally just traded for. I traded our three worst players for him. I'm surprised we were able to get him. We're just going to trade for some first round picks here and now we should be able to offer what 
Brooke Lopez a contract, Mobamba. Let's give Alex Lynn a contract. He's seven foot two. Let's give Bobo a contract, and then let's give. Let's see here. Let's give. Uh, let's give Jackson Hayes a contract. He's only twenty five, and Jackson Hayes will agree to sign with us, assuming the Lakers do not match him. So perfect. We get Jackson Hayes another ninety nine overall player down low we'll slide him to that power forward position for obvious reasons i mean we have zach Eady at the five we also have shading sharp at the two which means we don't really need jaron jackson jr so we need a starting small forward at this point off our bench we have we could run gg jackson so i'm gonna run him brandon clark and robert williams off our bench which does allow us to get rid of jaron jackson jr and bill williams jr who really didn't have the best year last season so oh my gosh we can literally get paul george on the team we're gonna see some great trades aren't we that's a huge addition we could just take a risk on zachariah richache he usually develops pretty well could get brandon miller Lori marketing provides us for a seven foot wing could get franz wagner who played fantastic honestly so out of all these trades i'm leaning towards brand scotty barnes is always a great addition gives us some more defense in that starting lineup just kidding we're definitely gonna trade for Scotty Barnes here, definitely just the best addition. I don't even want Jacoby Walter. We're going to slide him to that starting small forward position now. And then as far as our bench goes, we need to get a backup guard, don't we? We do. And it looks like Luke Kennard is our best bet here. We're going to give him three mil for two seasons in hopes. And now we have a complete rotation of John Morant, Shaden Sharp, Luke Kennard, Scotty Barnes, GG Jackson. Jackson Hayes, Brandon Clark, Zach Eady, and Robert Williams. Last year, we were the seventh seed. As of right now, we are definitely championship favorites. We're the first seed in our conference, and we have the best record in the NBA as of right now, according to the power rank. And we are on track to win 70 games here. We can tie the Warriors for the greatest record in NBA history, which we do by going 73-9. and nine. Victor does win MVP. Donovan Klingon with Rookie of the Year. Eamon Thompson with Sixth Man of the Year. Claxton with Defensive Player of the Year. Brandon Miller with Most Improved. And Mark Williams as Clutch Player of the Year. Victor, Chet, Nicholas Claxton, Klingon, and Mobley all make the All-NBA first team with Walker, Kessler, Wiseman, Trace, Jackson, Davis, Kale Ware, and Yives on the second team. Then for the third team, there's Alexander Sorry, Mark Williams, Jabari Smith Jr., Jalen Dern, and Mitchell Robinson. For the All-Defensive first team, we have Wiseman, Mobley, Yives, Klingon, and Claxton, then Trey, Jackson, Davis, Kelware, Chet, Rudy, and Victor on the all-defensive second team. So it's just going to be filled with those seven-foot-plus bigs as John Morant averages 23-5 rebounds, nine assists over a steal. Chet and Sharp had 14 points, four rebounds, two assists, and a steal. Jackson Hayes had 22, 12 rebounds, eight assists, two steals over a block. Edie with 23 points, 12 rebounds, eight assists, two steals, two blocks. Scotty Barnes had 14 points, five rebounds, four assists, a steal, and a block. Off our bench, GG Jackson had 12. Robert Williams had 6 points, 5 rebounds, a steal, and a block. Luke Kennard had 5, then Brandon Clark had 6 points, along with half a steal and half a block. So obviously I'm a huge fan of our team. This rebuild is so far going so much better than the LeBron and D. Wade Heat rebuild as we easily advance to the finals as Jackson Hayes wins a Kia Western Conference Finals MVP. That is never happening in real life. We do have a matchup of Cade, Ivy, Azir, Alex, Lynn, and Duren. So they have two 7-foot plus players that are 99 overall as well so this should be an interesting matchup as we go up 2-0 we're up 2-1 it's tied up at 2-2 we go up 3-2 and we close this series out in six games to win an nba championship as zach ed takes finals mvp i am going to trade brandon clark and robert williams real quick we're just going to take bobby portis jr i was able to sign somebody from the draft and actually i should say draft they're 6-10 195 pound power forward so i'm going to run him at the power forward position with bobby portis at the backup five and gg jackson at the backup three we got him with the fourth pick in the draft then we are going to trade aj johnson and luke Kennard just for a better backup guard and those are the only changes i am going to make to our rotation for the final season here as i was hoping for some better players miles mcbride had 10 points for assists last season let's see peyton pritchard had what 12 points for assists, seven seven assists so we're just going to do this trade real quick for peyton pritchard and our bench now has Peyton Pritchard, Gigi Jackson, Nate Amit, and Bobby Portis. Despite improving the roster, we are going to have a worst record this year, mainly because we started out the season like 10 and 10, so we haven't lost too many games since then. Still should win 60 games here on this season. We really did improve our bench though, so I'm happy about that. We're going to win 64 games here as Jabari Smith Jr. does win MVP. Koa Pete wins Rookie of the Year. James Wiseman was 6th man. Why is he coming off the bench as a 99 overall? 
Evan Mobley wins Defensive Player of the Year, and VJ Edgecombe does get most improved with Yives Missy winning Clutch Player of the Year. Jabari Smith, Evan Mobley, Chet, Yives, and Walker Kessler all make the All NBA first team. Victor Mitchell, Klingon, Duran, and Derek Lively make the All NBA second team. As for the third team, we have Nicholas Claxton, Trace Jackson Davis, Embiid, Bobo, and Kale Ware. Lively, Missy, Klingon, Holmgren, and Evan Mobley all make that All Defensive first team with Jabari Smith, Jalen, Trace Jackson Davis, Walker Kessler, and Victor on the All NBA second team. We need. We need to go to Washington. Why is this man? Oh my. Bro. They have three 99 overalls. We are going to throw James Wiseman to that starting lineup, I guess. That is. How do you afford that? Oh my. That's like. That's like 100 mil. And we're the second seed? Bro, the Spurs had a better record than us. They have what? Victor and Mobamba on their team with Jared Allen coming off the bench as we easily make our way to the conference finals but we run into mobamba and victor i mean we should be fine we have morant Shaden sharp scotty barnes hayes Edie, pritchard Gigi jackson nate Amit. what do you play what do you average as a rookie eight points two rebounds that's not bad considering his shooting splits are really good oh those are his playoff statistics anyway and then we have bobby portis who had a great season as well we're gonna take this game by game because they are the first seed so they had a better record than us as would tall it up at two to two we go down three two it's tied up at three three so we will just simulate with simcast here unfortunately if we get past this first team we do have to play the wizard who are absolutely stacked never thought i would ever say those words as we blow the spurs out in game seven and jackson hayes wins another western conference finals mvp unfortunately we have to play jordan pool call by star Wiseman and Jakob Pertl, they have Kuzma, John Collins, Carl Carrington, Sadiq Bey, Brandon Clark, Yusuf Nurkic off their bench. This team is just straight up better than ours, so I'm not going to be mad at all if we lose. We're actually up 3-1. We beat them in five games as Zach Eady does win a finals MVP. We just beat this roster. 399 overalls. All right, I have no words. We finished with a team of Morant, Sharp, Barnes, Hayes, Eady, Pritchard, Gigi Jackson, Nate Emmett, and Bobby Portis to go back-to-back on the rebuild. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I will catch you all with the next video.